Joining us now at Sports Center, Lakers Governor Jeannie Buss, one of the principals behind the new Hulu documentary series Legacy. Uh, Jeannie, first of all, thanks for joining us. And uh, why was it important for you to tell the story of the Lakers from the standpoint of, of the family that helped make the Lakers what they are? You know, um, it, we're coming up on the 10 year anniversary from uh, when my father, Dr. Jerry Buss, passed away. And uh, just looking back and thinking about all the innovations he brought to the NBA, we felt that the story was worth telling. So this is actually seven years in the making. And we really wanted to highlight as well something that we'd never seen in sports before this really close relationship between ownership jerry bus and the star player magic johnson let's talk about the lakers right now obviously the team missed the playoffs last year and for some nba franchises you have up years you have down years but living here in los angeles i understand the passion of the fans here and just down years just aren't supposed to happen so how is it different from your perspective um having to deal with that um you know the the laker fans have expectations as they should um, Dr. Buss created a brand that was consistently competing for NBA championships, as you can see behind <laughs> me. Yes. <laughs> they call it a humble brag. Laker fans uh, were spoiled during the Showtime era and the Shaq Kobe era. And we want to continue that legacy and, um, you know, add more championships, which we were able to do in 2020. You made some changes. Obviously, the centerpiece of the roster is... Still LeBron James, I've seen you say that it's a priority that he retires as a Laker. He signed an extension. How do you communicate what he means to the Lakers right now and in the near future in a way that you think will resonate with him? Uh, LeBron is still at the top of his game. He is, uh, you know, hardworking and a great leader. And, uh, you know, I'm just thrilled that he has extended his contract. Uh, we're going, going to look forward to him as he gets closer to breaking the all-time scoring record held currently by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, um, you know, a record that we thought would never be broken. And here we are. Uh, you know, it should be, it should happen this season if everything goes well. I saw in some earlier interviews, you said that Russell Westbrook was the best player on the team last season. That, oh, it was outrage. Uh, and then you came back and said by that you meant most consistent player because he played 78 games last season when there were a lot of injuries on the squad. Anything to add to that, just for clarity? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I lean into that. That's, you know, we needed players on the court that were healthy, and he was the most consistent player we had. He was, he worked hard, he showed up for every game, and I appreciate that in a player, and, we, and hopefully we'll have a, a season where we'll actually get to see all of our big stars play together and be healthy and, and stay on the court. You also added all-around pest, and I mean that in a good way, of Patrick Beverly. What does he add to the roster? You know, it's it's funny. The, the day the trade happened, he was already here shooting baskets. So um, I know he, he brings a lot of toughness, uh, hard work, determination, a strong voice in the locker room. So we look forward to having Patrick Beverly as a Laker. Now, I've seen your vast jewelry collection that there's one ring that you're wearing right now. I have an idea of which one it is, but I'm going to ask you, which one is it? Yes, I'm wearing the ring from 2020, which, you know, as we all did uh, during the pandemic, it was such a tough year. And uh, to, to win a championship in that year, I think, was extra special. And uh, I wear this proudly. That was my guess, too, but I thought it was because it was just the most recent one. And so it's a, <laughs> it's a reminder of, of the expectations uh, that come with being with the Lakers, uh, no matter what season it is. Uh, we certainly appreciate having you on the show. And uh, from what I can tell, people are really enjoying Legacy. So best of luck with that the rest of the way as well. Thank you very much.